video again, girls and boys. We'll have us going down on the floor. Um, next, the next pose in yoga um, is really for your upper back and lower back, and you're really stretching out. I'll go side on again, because I think you get a better a view of the pose itself. And it's actually called a child's pose. Try and have your toes pointing out. That's one thing I find quite difficult because I often get cramps through my toes and sometimes I'll have my toes actually going into the carpet. But they like you to have your toes pointing out. Plant effection, plant deflection they call that. Then all you're doing is you're going down and you're stretching out, getting into that bowl and you're stretching your arms forward, having your ears with your shoulders again and you're stretching out like so. And you're really getting that stretch through your lower back and your spinal cord and your shoulders as well. They call that the child, child pose. You're stretching out. Do that one three times as well. Um, the next one, back on your feet again. The grok, grok pose. Not sure where the grok comes from, but it's another one that I personally find difficult because I've got to bend my knees and not getting any younger, but I know it's good for me. Basically, you're having your feet just about shoulder length apart. You're bringing your hands together again. You do that real traditional um, yoga pose. Slightly leaning forward, and then you're going down with your balance, like so, and you're holding like that. Once again, trying to keep your back fairly straight, shoulders having your limbs down in front. Like so. It's called the grok pose, this is. Show you a side on one of that. Feet slightly apart. Hands coming in. A lot of balance here. Going down. And holding that pose. Pretty good. Three times at least. Do more if you'd like to do more. Uh, next one is basically, they call it a spinal twist pose. So you're going down on your flat back like so, as you can see, having your arms spread out, trying to keep your palms on the ground. Then all you're doing, girls and boys, is you're bringing your right leg up or left, whatever fit for you, and you're bringing it over, across your midline, and bringing it back down. Now to start with, a lot of you won't be get it right down, but you go as far as you can where you can feel the stretch. Feel it there. Really feel that in your lower back when you're holding it. Bring it back up. Doing exactly the same on your other leg. Not quite going all the way to the floor. Very important you don't bring your shoulder off the ground with this one, girls and boys. Try and keep your shoulders down. Focusing on your breathing. Once again, I don't talk when I'm doing this usually. Same for you guys. And bring it back over. And then obviously you're going back, doing it three times in each leg. And realistically what should happen, girls and boys, is because of that stretch I did first, and the hold, I should be able to go that little bit further. Yep, not too bad, Mr. Smith. Trying to keep that shoulder down. I'm just touching my foot on the ground. Trying to keep my right shoulder down as well and feeling that stretch. Great stretch through your lower back. Becoming very popular in yoga classes. And obviously you do the same on the other side. Last one today, girls and boys, for your lesson um, is basically once again working on your core muscles and on your balance and it works on your glutes as well which is your bottom muscles and it's basically getting in onto all fours under all fours trying to relax through your lower back and then all you're going to do is opposite so if my left arm goes up and i try and bring my right leg back keeping your head down and you're trying to keep then in that position for 10 seconds and i can really feel that in my glutes Feel it in the leg muscles, in the shoulder, working on my balance. Holding it for 10. Bring it back down and opposite.
obviously just do exactly the same on the other side, opposite. Right arm goes up, balance, left leg down, try and get as straight as you can, head, eyes pointing to the ground, toes pointed, and holding. Grade six, there's some, uh, quite a few yoga poses that you can practice at home. You can do that at any times. Um, it's a, something that you can start bringing in to your different sports, whether you're doing it uh, at the commencement to calm your mind, or whether you're doing it the day after to um, you know, stretch out after you've done activity, it's always good, or straight after you've done a game, like as part of a warm down. It's something that you might be able to put into your memory and something you might be able to use going forward as you get older. See you next week.